Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. See what your energies are this week, Cancer. The energy surrounding you. This is a general read. Take it how it best resonates. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, clarity of belief. So it's about being careful what you believe. There's some kind of transformation, possibly about something you're believing in. <laughs> see a new beginning. I do see some kind of change. Okay, make sure you get the clarity. Clarity that you need. Yeah, dedicated effort. Yeah, this is an energy of two people spending time, dedicating effort, supporting each other. I see something long term here. Okay, very nice. Cancer. Beautiful, yeah. See, someone here is refusing to see. So I feel it's an energy of someone who's refusing to see something. They don't want to look at it, okay? And it has to do with it takes two, okay? So it has to do with someone here, I feel, who's changing something, okay, that they believe in, okay? Because I do see a change and I see some kind of new beginning, yeah, so this is two people here. This is two people who both probably need to, you know, it's about two people working together, dedicating time, energy, their love, okay, their effort into making something work. So let's have a look here. Yeah, we have the magician, see, someone manifesting. It's an energy of, I feel, probably two people trying to manifest each other. Uh, but it's an energy of someone who has all the tools, the information. They have everything they need, okay, to manifest what it is they want. So, like, just be a little cautious, though. Like I say, someone may be refusing to see that, you know, it, sometimes it's not all what it seems. But I feel here it could be someone trying to manipulate a little bit, <laughs> okay? But it doesn't necessarily, yeah, see, so we have a single person, someone who has everything they need but love. Yeah, so, so I feel it's just an energy of two people going to manifest each other. It's both people looking to see if the other person is the person they want. Yeah, we have someone here. There's, I do see some kind of a break, yeah, some negativity, some little time apart. It's an energy of healing. So someone removing thoughts that pin them down. So sometimes on a break, people start to change how they feel or believe in a situation. See, so someone who was refusing to see something here to do with uh, effort and time. Now, this is a person who generally has everything they need. They're single. You know, it's often just a single person who's you know, looking out for themselves, taking care of themselves, see, enjoying the fruits of their labor. As someone who's manifested this, you see? So I feel it's a, some kind of break, someone clearing out the thoughts that pin them down, taking a pause. Yeah, we have, there you are, Cancer. Yeah. And there we have. So I do see talk, communication, things speeding up, multiple opportunities. Someone's been there, done that, though. Like, I, you know, there's someone here rejecting someone or someone who's failing to see. Yeah, someone's failing to see something. They've missed an opportunity. You see, it's failing to recognize a magical opportunity and missing the point. So this could be someone busy, being distracted by a lot of other things, okay? Busy times here. But I feel it has to do with two people putting in the effort. So, yeah. Let's have a look here, Cancer. Yeah, we have the Empress. This is the energy of the, you know, Empress being open. See, someone's, someone's missed an opportunity with an Empress. Somebody who knows their worth and value. This is someone who has a lot of abundance. They have a lot to offer. They bring a lot to the table, you see. Beautiful. This is someone who has everything. See, they've manifested the energies of the Empress. They've learned all their lessons. Now, it could be someone who's been there, done that, because there could be a reflection on something that's happened here. Now, this is a person who's often sacrifices and gives, but they don't never seem to get what they want, you see. Now, it could be a person who's feeling emotionally overwhelmed right now, too. So, we're going to see where this goes. Yeah, we have a king of wands. Now, this is often a person who's, you know, de definitely someone who's very motivated, inspiring. It's a person who's ambitious. Now, this is a, someone who's a natural-born leader. So, it has to do with someone taking the lead. You see, someone taking the lead. Someone's refusing to see. It takes some effort. Someone's put some effort into something. And then they were rejected. And someone's failed to recognize this. They're failing to see what they had right in front of them. 
Yeah, see, because someone's walking away. They don't want to look at it. So I feel we have a person who kind of doesn't want to face something here, okay? But it really could be anything. Yeah, it could be too, changing how you feel or how you believe, how you feel about someone. Maybe just being open to other options. And this could be this King of, of Wands energy. So I do see a little Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little Earth energy. See, we have someone here who's manifesting, okay? Yeah, but I do feel someone here, just being careful what they believe. Someone may have manipulated a little bit here, okay? So make sure you look at things carefully. Yeah, but I feel you're mastering this. <laughs> mastering the emotions as well, I feel. Some of you, that's, you know, the energy of mastering your emotions. Yeah, we have a king of pentacles the magician somebody this could be a taurus virgo capricorn it looks like some of you could be a virgo um, with that energy but it could be just the energy someone's in it's often a person who's kind of a loner often a little introverted but a lot of focus on money a lot of focus on self so i do see someone here who's pinned down by their thoughts i see some kind of break where someone is now you know gaining some kind of clarity seeing things a little differently of how they believe something to be okay so it's definitely a person who's good at manifesting money they have everything they need you see they have everything they need but they're single they you know yeah someone's taking a little bit of a break here i feel there's a need to heal you know there's been some dra drama conflict competition okay it's an energy of someone here i feel someone here isn't didn't take action or it's someone who's healing from an argument so this could be a couple you know but i also feel someone here is about to make a choice we have someone here who's walking away it's no longer emotionally fulfilling see been there done that somebody it, it's an energy if someone rejects you or refuses to see what, what you have to offer okay it's just an energy of moving on yeah it's also an energy of controlling. I feel someone here is a little on the controlling side. You see? Yeah. It's all, yeah, we have... Now, there could be children involved, a young person here. But this is often, like I say, it's a person who's focused on self. It's all about me. You see? Creating conflict, drama, chaos. You know, there could be competition as well. But I definitely feel someone's healing from some kind of argument. Okay? You know, someone's focused on self here for a good time not a long time why because they've missed they've missed an opportunity they failed to see what they had in front of them so someone's changing how they believe a situation to be see it's a person that has to do with being responsible reliable dependable someone's healing okay? releasing all this baggage letting things go you can see the sun starting to shine we have the empress down here yeah so someone here letting go of things healing letting go could be baggage, okay? Also could be someone busy working multiple jobs, feeling overwhelmed, feeling drained, okay? Someone who feels they don't have any time. They're just tired at the end of the day. So if you have an opportunity coming in here, see, I feel someone's rejected you, but it could be yourself also feeling to see, okay? That someone's busy. They have a lot on their plate. So just take what resonates. But it takes two dedicated efforts, see? It's an energy of someone who keeps sacrificing and giving, you see? And then someone's ignoring them, rejecting them. Let's have a look at the clarity of belief. Yeah, someone, we have a person keeping their... Who's a person who'd rather drink their own tears, suffering in silence, you see? Drinking their own tears because they don't want to admit. So some energy of baggage. But I also see it has to do with communication. Someone's keeping their feelings to themselves. I feel like we have a person here who's just kind of healing here. Yeah, keeping their feelings to themselves. So it has to do with a house, a home, a family, marriage, someone's financial foundation. But I feel in the end there's a reason to celebrate because I do feel it's someone here. Could be someone, you know, focusing on a past relationship. Could be a little baggage, okay? But I also feel that Prince of Wands is someone who, you know, here for a good time, not a long time. It does look like a positive communication. Someone who comes in fast, they're very flirty. This person may have failed to recognize um, it could be someone who was talking about themselves a lot, but it's a lot of focusing on self. Okay, it's kind of all about me energy. So, yeah, I you know I I feel there's it's an energy where it takes two people here. Okay, there could be the blame game, someone blaming someone else for the same thing they're doing. But I really feel it just has to do with someone healing some baggage. Okay, 
taking a break. It could be someone who's working multiple jobs and it's just time to take a break. So often, this is often a person who'd rather keep their feelings to themselves, suffer in silence than ask for help too, okay? Or say anything for that matter. Let's have a look at the Eight of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah, see, manifesting through communication. It has to do with some kind of communication. See, with somebody here. See, someone reached out. The other person rejected them. Why? Because they weren't giving enough or it wasn't good enough. It's thanks, but no thanks. It's often the energy of someone who's just not giving someone the attention. Okay, they're not giving. Someone here has been sacrificing and giving and not getting what they want. See, someone's failing to see. It takes two. See, it, reciprocity, it takes two. We have someone here waiting, feeling the ship has sailed. No, too little, too late, okay? But it's also an energy of someone here who, like I say, it's a person who was waiting, waiting for somebody to communicate, waiting and waiting, you know? I'm not a big fan of waiting. The Empress only waits around for so long, so I feel someone here may be looking at this, okay? Now, this could be somebody younger. Maybe it's somebody who's been there, done that, connected with someone who's younger, okay? Maybe focusing on self too much. You could really flip this either direction, but... Not waiting card, see? Waiting for someone to put in some kind of an effort. Because someone here has. They feel like they have. This loving and, and nurturing, self-sacrificing to do with house, home, family. Okay? It's trying to manifest. But this is the communication. Manifesting. There's something in the communication here. Where, you know, it's like somebody came on too fast, too strong. The way they talk communicated. So someone's like, thanks, but no thanks. It's not good enough. It's often a person who just kind of comes in when they want attention, but the other person isn't getting what they want, I feel. Yeah, and it could be to do with a younger person, too. I mean, the King of Pentacles could be kind of looking at this like this is somebody younger, you know. Yeah. Yeah, someone who doesn't maybe pull their weight. Like, I feel someone's been there, done that. They, I mean, it could be... Someone who has children, who's still, you know, raising children. Someone who's drained. They work multiple jobs. They go home. They have a lot of things to take care of. Now, this could actually go either way. But I feel that, I mean, this Princess of Cups could be this person. It doesn't have to be the Queen of Cups. It very well could be. It's just an energy. You know, don't look at the gender. It's someone who'd rather drink their own tears. They'd rather keep something to themselves. But I feel a lot of this is, it. for most of you, I feel it's this person. I mean, just keeping it to themselves here. You know, looking elsewhere. Someone who's been waiting, waiting for someone to talk, to communicate. Now looking elsewhere. Because we have someone who's not putting in the effort. They're not giving someone time, energy. See, been there, done that. I'm out of here. You know, this is someone looking for other opportunities, you see. Because of the way someone's communicating. It's a person who's trying to manifest something here. Now, this is interesting. It's We have two people who actually have all the tools. They have everything they need. But what I feel, it's like two people looking at what the other person has, what they have to offer, what they bring to the table. And I feel like we got someone who's waiting for someone to put in the effort. <laughs> and it could have to do with commitment. Or it could be just a couple here who, you know, sharing the day-to-day -day life responsibilities. But if you don't ask, you don't always receive. See, this is someone waiting for somebody. But it's you, you have to ask if you want to receive. That's what I feel that message is. Let's have a look at, let's have another look at this Eight of Wands, just because it came up again. Yeah, see, someone changing their focus, see, no longer waiting. Someone felt somebody was the one. They were very focused on them, but now they've changed their focus. No longer giving and no longer waiting. Yeah, this is someone who kind of, you know, been there, done that. This may not be the right person or right situation, okay? It's a person who generally goes after what they want, you see? We have two people, the youthful energy. So it has to do with something to do with the way two people are talking. I feel it has to do with, um, there's just not the right amount of communication, okay? It's the way things are being communicated, I feel. Yeah, let's have a look at the Empress, could be two people who were married very young, okay? Possibly married young. Yeah, both people may be mirroring each other, you see? The mirroring uh, that have never had a partner who pulled their weight, you see? But I feel a lot of it is the suffering in silence. Maybe even both people suffered in silence. 
pulled the weight, took charge of the situation, working multiple jobs, taking care of the children, the house, the home, but never really asking the other person. So there's something about this suffering in silence. You see, keeping the feelings to themselves. Yeah. Now we have the Empress. Yeah. Why is the Empress here? Oops. Yeah. So there's some trust issues. See, mind games, manipulation. It's an energy of two people not trusting each other. And I feel it's because of baggage from past relationships. Two people may have gotten married very young and they both have baggage from the past. You see? Yeah. But it's definitely an energy of self. Someone here is definitely single, focused on self. It's kind of all about me. Yeah, but you know, the, the Queen of Cups is often a person who sacrifices, okay? Often a lot of things, you know, uh, to take care of the house, the home, the family that feels like they don't have anything to show for it too. So, but I feel communication is the issue here. Yeah, two people focused on self a little bit here. But I, you know, like I feel with this trust issue, it's, sometimes it's mind games, manipulation, you see? But I feel there's trust issues. And I also feel there's miscommunication, mixed messages. So there, it, to me, it feels like there's just a lack of clarity to do with burdens, baggage. You know, could be the blame game, two people blaming each other, blaming the past. You see, it's time. And I feel it's just energy of moving past that. So I do see opportunities coming in, someone changing their focus. Okay. So you see an energy of someone who's very busy. Yeah, there's the Empress, see, healing, releasing this energy, being open to other options. See, it's a person who's balanced, trying to stay balanced emotionally too. I feel that's the biggest thing. Yeah, the Empress knows, the Empress knows. You can, if you suffer in silence and you kind of, you know, you have to speak up, you have to communicate, you have to focus, okay? But I feel someone's changing their focus. They're no longer waiting for someone. They're looking elsewhere because they feel the ship has sailed. You can only wait so long. Yeah, someone's sending mixed messages. Yeah, we have someone here making up excuses. Look, like I say, I mean, it's sometimes it's an apology, but I feel someone's, you know, keeping a lot of their feelings to themselves. It's both people. You're mirroring each other. See, it's energy of both people not feeling emotionally fulfilled, but yet, and they're not getting what they want, but they're not telling the other person what they want or how they feel. They're suffering in silence. You know, the Prince of Cups is also that energy, but like I say, it's often a person who makes up some, some excuses here. Yeah, see, someone keeping all their feelings to themselves, offering one little cup, just a little bit. See, it's an energy of... The Empress wants something, see? The Empress knows. If you don't ask, you don't receive, you see? But yeah, there it is. <laughs> Someone's making a choice here. Yeah, there is some kind of communication. Someone making some, looking at the details. See, it's about both people putting all their cups out there. See, offering the cup, giving somebody what they want. Someone wouldn't give someone what they wanted. It has to, uh, to do with the emotional connection, talking, communicating. Yeah. It's a person who often makes up excuses. They offer one little cup, nothing more. You know, it's the it's a it's an energy of kind of breadcrumbing, but it looks like the emotional attention. Now, this could be another person, somebody being open to someone else, but this is also someone growing up and leveling up. You see, somebody who definitely knows what they want. I feel it has to do with someone who needs to figure out what they want, what makes them happy. See. Oh, someone's a little full of themselves here, making up kind of excuses too. But, you know, because I feel someone here is kind of biding their time here, trying to figure out how they feel. You know, I feel it's an energy of both people just need to put all their cups on the table and talk and let each other know how they feel. See, the Empress is open to healing. Okay, so here's, there's this communication, looking at the details, looking at the situation carefully. Okay, it's all in the details, something to do with the communication. I actually feel two people kind of miss the point here. Two people miss the point of some kind of communication. They're not seeing it because it's like both people are focused on something here. But it's not, it has something to do with the way this is communicated. Yeah, it has to do with a choice in love, a bond, a connection. See, somebody walked away. Somebody failed to see what they had. See, somebody put themselves out there. We have someone who put themselves out there. Okay, they put in some effort and they're waiting for the other person to do the same. 
Yeah, see, looking at the details, someone feels like giving up here, looking back, see, feeling beat up, looking back at all this hard work. Someone feels there's nothing to show for it. Often this happens in relationships where somebody is a stay-at-home parent. You know, they sacrifice for the house, the home, the family, the financial foundation. And then when things don't work out, this is someone who, who ends up without, without anything or they feel they've missed opportunities in their own life. So I do see that. But I see two people mirroring each other. It's an energy I feel most of you. It's two people manifesting each other. Yeah, it's an energy of someone focusing on past, blaming the past, maybe another person. But I feel it's about putting this in the past. Okay? Yeah. Tell me about this Prince of Staves. Whoops. Yeah, see, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Ah, Yeah, it's a power couple. This is a lot of focus on money house home the financial foundation it's two people dedicating to each other look how they're looking at each other see both people really want the same thing you're both looking for the same thing you see but it's about both people pulling their weight giving dedicating some time um you know every week to talk to communicate okay spending time together someone's waiting here but there i feel someone's getting bored of sitting around waiting see yeah we could have someone who's tired of living alone too you know because i do see the single person but i feel someone kind of you know feels like they'd just rather be single because you know like if you if you feel like you're living alone when you're living with someone and that looks like the case for some of you you might as well be single so but i feel we have two people here most of you i feel it's just two single people who really have everything they need to manifest what they want this is the power couple okay grounded practical two people like to plan and prepare ahead but i feel it has to do with both people dedicating this mutual effort okay yeah a couple of people who are busy have a lot on their plate you see often it's working multiple jobs yeah so this could be somebody working from home too but I feel really, it's just the energy of two people talking, communicating, see, facing each other. Someone here was refusing to see. They didn't want to see. They didn't want to look at it. <laughs> but it's a two, so I actually feel it's both people. Yeah, see, releasing things that no longer serve. See, letting it go. Someone feels like the situation's out of reach. This is someone who's loving themselves first. And I feel with the Empress, someone who's learned to love themselves first. So they're changing their focus, focusing on other things, creative pursuits, you know, maybe even starting to focus because someone's not getting the attention they want. And it has to do with the communication. And I feel it's trying to say if this is a married couple or just two people manifesting, trying to come together and you're both very busy, it's setting aside a time, okay, to talk, okay? So, yeah, it's all about the communication with the with the magician but the manifesting the mirroring <laughs> yeah see it has it has to do with some kind of an agreement see it's energy of being faithful committing so it's dedicated committing to the situation some kind of an agreement see yeah it's about having faith see somebody had faith they were waiting you see this is somebody faithful I don't really feel like it's a third party or anything. To be honest, I really don't. For most of you, it could be. But I feel it has to do with two people, how they live their lives. Two people who are very much, I feel, the same. You know, habits, lifestyle, traditions, the way two people conduct themselves. Schedules, routines, see? A lot of structure, a lot of self-discipline, you see? Yeah, mirroring each other. <laughs> I feel it's to do with changing habits, a little change of lifestyle, change of routines, schedules. See, it has to do with commitment to marriage, two people who are just right for each other. But someone here feels, you know, they're looking at this changing how they kind of feel because they're not so sure maybe the other person feels the same. Okay, if this person's just right, if they're committed to this situation. Because it has to do with justice and being fair and balance. Someone feels someone's not being fair. They're not reciprocating. Or one person feels they're putting out more money than the other. Okay, Or one person's talking, giving. See, showering abundance, giving to someone. This is someone waiting for someone. They're waiting to receive. 
okay? But what I feel too is if you don't tell somebody what you want, they don't always know what to give you, the mind reader energy. Not everybody knows what the other person wants because we have two people who have, I, I feel like, you know, similar lifestyles, habits, the way you conduct yourselves, but, you know, and I feel it has to do with morals and values, you know? I feel there's just a lot of very common energy between the two of you. But someone here is tired of waiting. They're bored of waiting. But if you don't ask, you don't receive. That's what I feel. See? And I, it's almost like both people <laughs> feel like they're not getting what they want. But you got to talk. Yeah. See? A little, a little uh, Gemini Libra. Very strong Aquarius energy. See? Someone feeling like giving up. Cutting someone out. Making some kind of choice. choice. But someone feels someone may have judged them. See? being unfair judging someone unfairly because they're giving now it could go either way queen of swords is wise it's also someone who's not a pushover so this is someone learning this learning to speak up see it's learning to speak up if you don't tell somebody what you want or you maybe learning to be a little more assertive i know you're very kind compassionate often very sensitive okay but you know what's so interesting here is this break, this time, possible time apart. But I feel it's an energy of healing, you know, taking some time apart. So maybe somebody wants to, you know, take a little break here. This could be just two single people taking a break. But I feel there's a need for rest and rejuvenation. It has to do with someone taking a break from being pinned down by their thoughts and now you know, gaining some kind of clarity. See, it's an energy of change transformation some kind of transformation the only way to create change is to speak up okay speak your truth let someone know your worth and your value that you're not settling okay but it's also an energy of letting go of baggage see looking back at all this hard work so it has to do with success okay yeah it's an energy of somebody here who doesn't want to give up they really don't, but like I say, they feel like it because they're not, they want to be happy. This is someone who wants to be emotionally fulfilled. This is someone who has a lot of abundance. They have so much love to give, okay? But it, it takes two people here. So like I say, it could be both people needing to speak up, speak their truth, release things that no longer serve, okay? What no longer serves an energy of giving up, okay? But what no longer serves is not communicating how you feel by, you know, keeping those feelings to yourself. But I feel this other person's the same. This is often two people, especially single, who act a little aloof. Okay? <laughs> yeah, a little introverted energy is what I feel. <laughs> yeah. But, I, you know, that King of Wands tells me it's a person here who is growing up, leveling up, someone who doesn't want to give up. See, someone here doesn't really want to give up. This is person's not a quitter, you see. Yeah, but some of you could be making a choice. You may have another person here just keeping your options open. But I feel it has to do with healing. I feel someone here wants to heal. This is often a person who's, you know, and I also feel too it's forgiving past, okay, leaving the past in the past, not someone who keeps bringing up the past maybe. Okay, it's often a person who keeps bringing up the past, or keeps thinking about the past. It's time to leave it in the past where it belongs too. You see? This could be a person just giving advice too. You see? Yeah. This is the energy of someone's hopes and dreams. But someone feels the situation's out of reach. Now, we know the Queen of Swords. There's two sides to that. It's often a person definitely not a pushover. Okay? And it's also an energy of someone asking questions, being discerning. It's also a great way of getting something off your chest by speaking up and then leaving it in the past. I feel it's an energy of healing, okay, and leaving something in the past where it belongs because it no longer, it doesn't serve this situation. This could be, like I say, a mother figure, someone giving someone advice as well. Yeah, because if, if, if it's two people who keep uh, bringing things up or keep focusing on past relationships, it's an energy of it weighing you down. I feel like it puts pressure on a relationship too. Anything, you know, in the future, you have to let it go, you know. But I, I do see an energy of justice and fairness, someone being fair, see. Someone's not being fair or they feel like someone's not treating them fair. But now it's energy of someone who, after a period of time, is not so sure how they feel because they're bored and tired of waiting or tired of being rejected, you see. Yeah, but someone's missed the boat. They failed to see. 
See, someone's failing to see. But I also feel, you know, it's an energy of balance. When the Empress is there, it's an energy of someone who watches their words. They're careful what they say, okay, how they communicate. So, yeah, that's an interesting read here. But let's have a look at the Queen of Swords. Yeah, now we have the King of Swords. <laughs> Funny that. Yeah, see, it's two people who are very smart. I feel very clever, intelligent, but it has to do with two people knowing their worth and their value, but it's treating each other with respect, okay? So it has to do with respect. I also see an energy of someone looking elsewhere and another person getting a little bit jealous, okay? It's often the Nine of Wands is my jealousy card, but I feel it has to do with communicating clearly two people's intentions, clearing, clearing things up here, you know, letting the other person out of respect, knowing their intentions, See, it's, I, I just feel we've got these two people here who need to talk. They need to put time aside to talk, to spend time together. Because we have a person who's not going to wait forever, especially if it has to do with committing. Because this is a person who's reflecting on the past. See, something that's happened before, been there, done that. So it's an energy of a person who's changing their focus, trying not to focus on it. So, yeah, vice versa, though. Let's have a look. What is this King of Swords intentions? Yeah, see, this is someone missing, longing for someone, something to do with children. This is often a person who buys little gifts, shows someone they appreciate them. So it has to do with the appreciation. It's an energy of deserving more. Okay. It's a, I feel there's somebody here who kind of feels like, you know, um, they're deserving of something, but they haven't put the effort in. And the other person I feel is you know, sacrificing and giving something up. And the other, you know, like I feel, it's gift giving, sentimental. Someone showing someone they care out of respect. Okay, it could be something to do with children here too. But it's an energy of someone longing for some love and attention. They're missing somebody. It could be people feel that way when they live together often. Because the other person's, you know, not setting any uh, time aside for family togetherness. You know, there's a couple of home bodies here, you see, spending time uh, at home, spending time alone. Yeah, there it is. See, friends and family, community. See, someone's missing someone here. Yeah, this is someone who feels they're missing opportunities because I feel they're just kind of waiting. You know, just waiting for whatever. It'll be different for each. Waiting for either commitment or waiting for someone to um, be fair. Okay. As far as time and energy, because this person's definitely, if, if, um, you know, I'm out of here. Been there, done that. You see? But there's something to do with the communication. And when the king and queen of swords come in, it tells me the communication, the mirroring. Two people kind of think in the same thing. You know, there's definitely a mutual energy. There's something mutual. It's two people who adore each other, admire each other. But I feel out of respect. It has to do with being sentimental. Someone here is not that sentimental. They don't worry about birthdays, gifts, things like that. You see? Someone here is always giving, see, giving someone gifts, doing sweet things, doing nice things for them. And the other person's waiting for some of that payout for all this effort, you see. But I still feel for couples, people, someone who keeps bringing up the same thing over and over again, it's time to put it to rest and leave it in the past. See, someone's looking back, maybe even at happier times, though. But I, I really feel like we have two people here who don't really want to give up. It's really about putting the past in the past, whether you're single, you're coming together, and you both have a little baggage, okay? So it's not about blaming each other, okay? Let go of the baggage. Yeah, see? It's an energy of being patient, investing. Someone's waiting for someone to invest, waiting patiently, but feeling like it's not going to pay off. See? Time's going by, feeling time is being wasted, missing other opportunities, you see, this is what happens with the empress, someone who knows their worth and value. They're just like, okay, well, enough is enough. I've had enough. I'm out of here. You see, I'm not going to sit and waste my time, my energy, you see, for something that likely won't pay off. That's how someone's feeling, you see. But I feel it has to do with timing too, something to do with the timing, um, you know, waiting for the right time. You know, I feel there's someone here, you know, friends and family, uh, some kind of uh, opportunity coming together. 
I see some positive kind of news, see some kind of celebration, birthday party, things like that. I feel there's someone who's kind of not doing these things. One person is, the other person isn't. You know, it's often an energy with two people come together and they create memories. This is often, you know, creating memories by um, giving sentimental gifts, things that you look back, you know, years later with those lovely memories. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And see, remembering the past, looking at it, dealing with it, leaving it behind, it no longer serves. This is two people, mutual respect out of respect, you see? Being kind and remembering these things. Yeah. Someone here is definitely feeling like moving on, though. Yeah, we got a person here looking at the details. Prince of Pentacles looking at the details of the situation. See, it's someone who's often a little detached, focused more on money, focused on other things, you see, but not putting enough focus on the on the the family, okay? Uh, the celebrations, sentimental things. So I feel there's a lot to do with that too. So yeah, this person's looking at it. I can see them looking. You know, I feel this is someone's intentions. I feel they're waiting for the right time, but the timing's always off. Yeah, this is someone who works a lot, see? Hoping something pays off, but it has to do with putting in the effort, see? Someone's doing all the work. The other person's not... And it could be just, like I say, housework, chores, looking after the children, where one person's, you know, working and doing everything, where the other person's, you know, that they're doing that one thing. They're focused on self, you see, their own money, uh, their own life, their own, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens, especially in couples who've been together a long time. You kind of, it's almost like somebody's kind of gone off course here, but... I feel it has to do with somebody looking at this effort, putting in more effort, remembering birthdays, gifts, spending time with children, family. See, this is, it could be there's a separation where someone's missing someone. They're looking at this situation of the effort someone's putting in, you know, creating memories. You know, these are holidays, things where, you know, the Queen of Cups sacrifices. So, yeah, see, so I feel it has to do with you know, this bond, connection, and love, making choices. Two people actually love each other, you know, but I feel there's an energy of leaving something in the past that no longer serves. Someone's feeling beat up, you know, they're feeling beat up and worn down. Uh, it's all work, 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 you know, it's, un this person feels like it's worth it, but they want something. The Queen of Cups wants, waits for reciprocity. They Oh, they cook, they clean, they take care of things. They give little sentimental gifts to show someone they that they like them, you know. So I feel it has to do with mutual and reciprocity here. So this person's thinking about it. Yeah, see, ending a cycle. See, this is why something may not have gone someone's favor. Maybe this is an on and off situation. But this cycle is ending. See, it's a whole new cycle, putting in the effort. This is an energy of both people getting what they want i see some kind of agreement okay because i feel it's the feeling is mutual here between two people yeah so it could be single people people with children but somebody here like i say almost feels like they'd rather be single <laughs> yeah you know might as well just be single if you're going to be by yourself and you're always you know sitting around wasting time opportunities you know, any kind of opportunity it's life right mastering life Someone who's open. Yeah. I feel it's also a beautiful healing. Yeah. See, this is someone here. See, drained, feeling bored, now feeling like they need to be open. This is someone who wants to be happy. I also see opportunities, uh, large gatherings. Okay. Someone's missed opportunities with their friends and family, too. Other people getting out, socializing because they're always. You know, it could be someone who's always at home. They're either at work or they're home with the children. What's the other person doing? What's this King of Pentacles doing? And I'm not saying it's the King or Queen of Pentacles. It could go either way. These people are similar. <laughs> Often workaholics. So let's have a look at the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it has to do with change. A lot of financial growth, prosperity, a lot of abundance. So it has to do with it's time for change. See? Yeah, someone here may be looking at someone feeling like they're, you know, they're changing. They don't feel the same, you see. But I feel it's an energy where it's time for change. 
Okay, it's time to put in some effort to build. Even if it's just single people coming together, it has to do with both people, okay? Working together to build something here. This person's definitely looking at it. But yeah, so someone here failing to recognize this beautiful empress. See, the things that you have in common, the need to cooperate and compromise to go down this path. See, it's an energy of two people. It, it's complementing each other as well. It's often an energy of acknowledging somebody's hard work, all the effort that they put into family, friends, okay, giving gifts, doing beautiful things for people, being very giving. So, yeah. This is, like I say, there's some kind of break where someone's healing and releasing some baggage and burdens here. I actually feel the Empress energy is open to forgiveness, open to heal, but it's definitely someone who's mastering the Empress energy, mastering all the elements of the Queen's. See, being very creative. This is someone who wants to be open. But I also see the energy of a collaboration. See, collaborating, working together. So it does feel positive. The cycle's ending. This is someone here. See, two people want things to go in their favor, but it has to work for both people. So there's a lot of abundance. I feel it has to do with the timing. Somebody needs to hurry up because I feel we have a person who's about to, you know, thinking about moving on here. Okay. Yeah, because it's not emotionally fulfilling. So this is someone missing the boat, missing the opportunity to be happy, you see, uh, emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, I feel it's it's time to talk, okay? Take care, wish you the best, bye for now.